Hey guys, Scott from Fright Props here, and today we are going to be taking a look at how to install a servo block onto a servo. Uh, we're going to start with a standard size servo, which we have here. Uh, these are the parts for the servo block kit, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to put these onto the servo. Uh, using a servo block is a good way to enhance the uh, performance of your servo. It basically takes a little bit of the load uh, off of the servo gears themselves, allowing you to move a heavier load and protect the servo from damage. It also provides a lot of mounting options for the servo itself, uh, and we have a couple different options which we'll get to uh, once we kind of get the main servo block assembled. So, let's begin! All right, the first thing we're going to want to do is take the gear um, wheel off of the top of the servo. So you can see there's a Phillips head uh, screw here. We're just going to go ahead and unscrew that. We want to make sure that we keep this screw because we're going to need it uh, to install a piece later. So we're just going to go ahead and set that there. We can then remove the plastic gear wheel here and set it aside. The next thing we're going to want to do is install the main part of the servo block here. In the case of your standard size servo, it doesn't really matter which way it goes. You're going to want to thread the power cord for your servo through the center and go ahead and seat the servo into the main block like that and then we're going to go ahead and install uh, four bolts um, in the four uh, sections here. The holes here are threaded so the bolts just screw right in. So that is the main uh, part of the servo block installed. Next we're going to have the two side pieces and the top piece. So these pieces uh, have kind of a circular center here and then these four sort of uh, tabs. And they just go on either side of the uh, main shaft of the servo. And you want to line them up with the top hole on the left and the right like that. We'll go ahead and screw those on. And we want to make sure that we don't screw these on too tight because we're going to be placing uh, our servo hub in the center. And if you do it too tight, sometimes the, they don't line up quite right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, attach these, but leave the bolts a little bit loose. You want to make sure that the tabs are facing inward, like this. You don't want to have them facing out, like that. So this way is correct. Okay, so we have installed the two side brackets. You can see they're still kind of loose. That's good so that we have a little bit of play before we tighten everything down. Next, we're gonna install the top piece. Um, you can see that the top piece sort of has one edge that's flared, like there's a little bumped out at the top here, and the back is flat. You want the flat part to face down towards the servo and the uh, sort of bumped out part to face away. So that just sits right on top, like so. And we can go ahead and bolt this on and again you want to do that loosely at first.
Okay, so that is the uh, servo block essentially installed. All that's done now is to install the adapter to the actual uh, gear hub. We have two different options for that. There's a plain hub kit. You can see here that this has a circular hub with uh, threaded holes uh, so that you can easily mount and attach things to it. We also have a plain shaft, which is just a cylindrical shaft uh, if you need to do uh, like a clamping hub or something like that. So you can choose uh, between these two choices when you select your kit. So we're gonna just go ahead and install the hub shaft. They both install the same way. You just drop them through the center of the uh, ring at the top here and line them up with the gears and you might have to turn it until it clicks in the gears uh, have teeth on them and so do the uh, bottom of the shaft here and then you're going to take your screw from earlier and just drop it down in the middle and screw it in place all right so that's secured now once that's all in place you can go ahead and tighten up the rest of the bolts Sure everything is nice and tight. And there it is. So we have now installed the uh, servo block to this servo. Uh, you can see how it adds a lot of different mounting positions uh, for mounting attachment points and uh, beams and springs and whatever else you might need to attach. It also, you can see, alleviates a lot of the load uh, on the actual shaft of the servo by having these supporting brackets. Uh, so we definitely recommend using these whenever you're doing a servo application. That's a standard size servo. We're gonna go ahead and look at a quarter scale servo or what we call a large servo. That will be next. Okay, so here we have a quarter scale servo or a large or giant servo, they're sometimes called. You can see much bigger than the uh, one we were using previously. And we're gonna go ahead and, and install the servo block onto this. You can see that the kit is pretty much the same, uh, just with some larger pieces. Um, you might notice with the bolts that come with this kit, you, you may have some longer bolts. You might find that you have four bolts, this is a little hard to see because they're very close in size, that are slightly longer than your other bolts. If that's the case, those four bolts are used to attach the main servo block to the servo itself, and the other bolts will be used to attach the uh, separate mounting uh, pieces to that. All right, so just like the other servo, the first step will be to remove the gear arm that's attached to the servo. Again, there's a threaded screw on the top. We're just gonna go ahead and unscrew that. And save that screw, we'll just set it aside. Go ahead and remove the arm. They can be a little bit sticky, so I sometimes find you have to pry it loose. And we can go ahead and set that aside. We won't need it. Next, we'll be installing the main servo plate. Uh, in this case, it does matter which direction you install the plate. You'll notice that the uh, four holes that are going to hold the side supports are kind of uh, located towards one end. So if you were to put it on this way, your side supports won't uh, be directly over your gear shaft. So you wanna make sure that you uh, position it the correct way, same way that you're doing the servo. Again, you'll want to feed your wire through the center and go ahead and work this uh, servo block around the servo. And then we're gonna go ahead and just install our four longer bolts into the uh, servo itself to connect that plate. Again, these holes are threaded, so the bolts just go right in. And at this stage, you can go ahead and tighten these down firmly. All right, so that's our main block secured. We're gonna go ahead and do our uh, two side supports. Again, making sure the tabs are facing inward. And as before, we're gonna go ahead and tighten them loosely uh, during this first uh, stage here.
All right, side supports are on. And once again, we're gonna go ahead and install the cap here, uh, making sure that the uh, bumped out portion is facing upwards, and that the flat portion is facing down towards the servo gear. We just go ahead and place that and lightly screw it into place. I found with these kits, the manufacturer tends to supply some extra bolts um, that are not needed. So you can go ahead and just save those. You might need them to attach a component to the servo itself. Again, we have both a uh, hub shaft and plane shaft options. We're gonna go ahead and just use the plane shaft for this installation since we used the hub shaft on the standard servo. So same as the other, you just wanna make sure you have the uh, end with the tooths for the gear uh, to sit in down towards the servo gear and uh, the other end up and that just sits right on top. You just wiggle it around until it sinks down onto the servo gear shaft. Then use your screw from earlier. Just drop it in and screw it into place. All right. Now we can go ahead and go around and tighten our bolts on the servo block. And we're done. All right, so that is a quick video on how to install servo blocks onto both a standard and a quarter scale or large servo. Uh, we're gonna be producing more videos about doing servo mounting, how to use servos, how to control servos in the coming months. Uh, make sure to stay tuned to our channel for that. As always, if you have any questions, leave us a comment on this video or send us an email at sales at freightprops.com. Thanks.